which for me is right now. So <laughs> the um, Saturday there was like an infinity system, infinity system live stream, uh, which they do like generally every month. Really, really nice system. Uh, really practical, helpful, sort of useful advice. I would recommend uh, checking it out to anyone who wants a place to look for answers and sort of tips from people with lived experience of being a system. They, and I th thoroughly agree with this, they would expect people to practice self-care so their videos can go into deep topics and can mention things which can be triggering but it's just I think we're starting to try to I think I think we have an element of adopting that sort of style of thinking as well like expecting people to put prioritize their own self-care and like avoid videos that could be triggering or damaging to them and um, not feel obligated to stay, I guess, or watch their streams if they th throw out difficult topics for the viewer. So there's a, there's a vague heads up there, but I thoroughly, and I thoroughly recommend their streams. It's a really, really lovely community and um, everyone there, like in the chat, as, as well as the system themselves will try and answer questions and it's just really nice to be in the presence of loads of other people that have the same sort of struggles to deal with in day-to-day -day life as you and um, maybe have like a variety of perspectives of things to try to deal with like challenges you might be facing. It's a place to ask questions I guess and to gain support and to gain insight and to gain tips and um, there's just something <clears throat> really powerful and like a sense of backup and belonging about being able to go and ask questions and not having to like feel like I need to fully explain because if I go into trauma informed spaces which are really helpful but not DID specific I do feel as if I have to explain rather a lot more, or like there's the risk of being given advice that will underestimate or miscalculate what we have to deal with. So like the feeling that I'm going to need to tailor any advice or like it won't be directly applicable to us. Um, I don't get that at all in DID community spaces, which is really nice. You really get the feeling that like these people understand exactly what you're dealing with because they're dealing with it as well which is a very supported way to feel and um, I really appreciate our whole community for that <sighs> so uh, lately we're trying to work on co-fronting and I was just thinking about a sentence two sentences ago, so I'm pausing a lot. Like half of me is thinking about that sentence and half of me is trying to move forward. So I'm just going to pause for a second to go back to the half of me thinking about two sentences ago and think for a second and work out why I'm still half there. I think I never have any idea like what is the right balance between uh, like trigger warning our videos and because I, I can't always predict where it's going to go or what's going to be triggering to anyone the same way I can't predict what's going to trigger us they just come out of the blue pretty much every day like if we don't want to get triggered we basically have to stay offline and even then that's that's not a guarantee because generally like situations that we encounter just day to day um, engaging with our friends or with Ryan or with each other in here can mimic situations from the past and can bring up triggers or you could just suddenly be flung back into one dreams anything 
Um, and yet I always want to be able to protect everyone who watches our content. So it's me saying that I think I'm starting to adopt that style of thinking now. I appreciate the way they run things and like that you can have open and frank discussions of topics which a lot of other people are probably not comfortable talking about for these exact reasons and I see why and I guess I'm trying to work out what the right balance is for us because I never know and I, I still don't know and I don't know if anyone knows or if this is like a constant internal battle for people but I really appreciate and respect the fact that in their space on their streams you can ask and there will be a really frank and really open discussion and that it, it's expected that each viewer will take that take themselves away if necessary and, and work through their triggers if necessary um we did get triggered at one or two points during the live stream which is fully not a complaint and fully on us because we anticipated that we would be okay listening when we saw the topic heading that way and we don't really tend to avoid triggers for us um what we try to do is ground to the room to the present to the body breathe and keep each other like enough in the present while feeling it move past and through us and generally speaking we can process things that way i think I think that um, this time what happened was that Val had memories come back that were surprising or new to him, which he's in his words, he doesn't regret for a second because more information of what happened and what we're dealing with is always going to lead to more awareness and more understanding. And that's always going to give us more power in the long run. So we're grateful for that as well. And I guess I'm thinking about that, like, I guess it depends on how each system or each person approaches triggers. And also that's going to change day to day, I suppose, because there's some days where we do stay offline and avoid um, places where we are more likely to be triggered because we've already dealt with a lot in that day and we're trying to conserve our energy and like juggle. So we don't really tend to remove ourselves like if we noticed that the conversation was moving in a direction that could trigger us and our response our preferred response to that is to remain in that presence rather than leaving and try to i guess desensitize ourselves to feeling uncomfortable without it pulling us into flashbacks and without it making us leave the present so we work on staying grounded to the present in the presence of triggers i suppose is what that is and i don't know what everyone's preference is and it would be impossible to predict so really all i can do is like a trigger worn our descriptions and make it really clear that absolutely we expect anyone who watches our videos to prioritize self-care and to prioritize their own needs and to only watch if they feel comfortable and confident doing so and absolutely not to delay in seeking any mental health treatment as a result of anything they see in our videos and you know to really do what they need at the time and i guess i think about it often because i don't always know what to trigger one because i guess that in in a lot of ways we're already very desensitized so not everything will seem obvious to me as a trigger but anything is a potential trigger for other people i see why i was thinking about that and i'm glad that i paused to consider my thoughts <sighs> i think it might be like a perpetual debate within me to work out what the right balance for us is it's not like i expect other systems to adopt our way of approaching triggers i want people to have the freedom to choose what they watch and listen to when hmm. <laughs> 
which I guess is something I appreciate from the Infinity Systems live streams as well. It's like, I like feeling trusted as well. Sort of being given the opportunity, I guess, to grow and learn and face things that are difficult and challenging for us. Anyway, <laughs> where was I before that? It was a like cool tangent. So yeah, thoroughly recommend their live streams. Great place to ask for guidance for things. This particular, this Saturday, we um, asked for if they had any advice for co-fronting because We've been, I mean, we've been working on that on and off for like a couple of years, but between mostly like just between two people at once. And um, more recently, we've been starting to work on doing it with three people. Oh my god, and it's it's really challenging for a multitude of reasons. I just. <laughs> Press journal there. We're gonna have to take another sidetrack for one second because <laughs> at the end of uh, Friday, after like these pages upon pages of like phone calls and notes and checklists and like get transferred to this person and deal with this, the uh, we'd done all of that and when we were finally done and we'd hung up, I I don't know why, but you know how your computer gives you a notification for email sometimes it just pops up. My computer just like we hung up and we were sat there like spaced out for like thirty seconds or something and it suddenly the computer popped up with its little bloom and it was just plan your funeral email and we were like what the fuck man ah uh, frag uh, in a child's deepest fears yes and then. There we go, Infinity System live stream. So yeah, their advice was really cool, uh, which I'm going to repeat here, which was like, communicate, make sure you're communicating with everyone to deal with not just like the active influence of, of say the, I mean, there will, there will be active and passive influence anyway, but also like, so I didn't think about the passive influence. And I didn't think about the fact that there could be involvement from alters that were not trying to co-front right then and there together. And the fact that we all have subsystems as well, I'm like, ah, that may make it more complicated. So basically, meetings and maybe try and rota and plan and schedule and discuss with everyone in the system that you're practicing these things and dealing with these things and maybe when you are. Which is cool because we have not tried that. So that is something really cool that we're going to work on next time we have a day where we're not dealing with like intense life shit, then we're going to try and like have a sort of system meeting and discuss it and be like this time and this day we're going to try and do this and then hopefully that will maybe make it less confusing and maybe maybe then we can like make sure that there's space for people who may want a front that I'm not aware of at the time. Like maybe while we're trying, there's people from other parts of the system trying to get to the front as well. And maybe it's quite frustrating for many parts without any of us really being aware that that's like communicating our intentions to each other or anything. So I'm really grateful for that advice and I'm really excited to put that into practice and try and work out what's going on really we haven't started having system meetings yet because since like since our last uh, like well my last few fusions with two old hosts I've had really limited access to the inner world and that was how we used to talk to each other and have like meetings and shit so trying to find a way for me to interact I can I can interact with like 
either the inside of the spaceship or the inside of the van, both of which are just directly connected to the front. But I can't seem to get back to, like, say, the house or... Like, there's so many different areas of the inner world and I can't get further in than, like, directly next to the front at the minute. I'm going to look up some sort of, like... I think I have to find some sort of slightly meditative ways to go back inside and sort of zone in to that so that we can discuss this or have somebody that has good communication inside and with me relay messages to me. We don't really know how large our system is, so system communication is uh, something we've been working on for like a whole year, so maybe if we can link up inside a way for people to express and communicate quickly with one another, then we can have parts communicating to a middleman, communicating to me, and we can maybe do it that way. That'd be cool. Oh, and good, good things to know. Yeah, we always, I think I complained even like a few vlogs ago about having a really bad headache that we were kind of just pushing through. Like we weren't mega pushing through, but we were gently like being like, just kind of stay all in the front and thinking that if we gently stayed there, maybe it would stretch it. But, um, cause it does feel a bit like a tension stretch, but when it gets to the point of feeling like an impact drill, I'm like a bit worried, but apparently those are called transitional interpersonal thunderclap headaches T-I-T-H's which I have yet to have time to google myself but I do want to look into them more but uh, they can be legit dangerous and like not something you want to just force through so cool to know that I'm just going to be like okay back off and take some breaks and some breathing um, if we start to feel like even a touch of a headache so that's kind of cool to know huh <sighs> We get pointed towards a couple of their series that they've got on their channel, which I'm looking forward to looking at as well. Look really helpful. And, um, man, you know, what was really cool was like, There was so much about it that was really cool. Like being in a place where I can get really real practical advice that's applicable to our situation that I can try and go, ah, I can move forwards from here, I can build from here, I can take those tips and I can work out how they apply to us and how to use them where I'm stuck. And these people understand what it's like. So like, it's very practical, compassionate, you know, like understanding advice. And I really like that being in a place where just I feel that sense of community it made me think a lot about like it made me think a lot about how we were last year because I think it was last year so it's starting the year before I think it was starting around November December 2020 I think we started trying to reach out to community online and that's when we originally discovered the infinity system and we went to some live streams from like a few people we had like an awesome time reaching for community we were so so new to being a system and to all of us knowing we were a system we didn't have a solid host our old host had gone dormant for a couple of weeks and then just couldn't front so it was like man it was chaos kind of new to therapy um and mostly we just didn't really know ourselves very well so i spent a lot of time lately just thinking about the comparison really and the difference between between last year and now and it's been really cool i've really enjoyed being mesmerized by how far we've come in what's really an incredibly short space of time and how differently I can show up now as opposed to then how much better we understand ourselves or are starting to because I know there's still like 
Oh, we're still like deeply enigmatic mysteries to all of ourselves in here, which, but I like that now. I don't feel afraid of that. <sighs> I think this, uh, I think this calls for another pause and another cup of tea and possibly another video break to reflect. Ah, <sighs> so. Ah, <sighs> it's been a really busy, like, weekend to now. Today is going to be quite busy as well, so this is this is possibly why this is like why I'm thinking about what we were like last year. It's the whole comparison. It's like I think the live stream just threw it into like the spotlight for me, but also it's what we were doing by the side of the live stream, like all of the big life changes, all of the ways that I'm dealing with things, the way that I'm like feeling more and doing more and like feeling way more stressed about everything I'm doing and still doing it and like having a lot rougher time with the symptoms like the phone calls actually dealing with them and nearly having a panic attack like the whole phone call just trying to breathe and stay present and regulated enough to get it done and then sleeping for like an entire two days afterwards it's like everything's way more intense and I'm also doing way more with that and it's like I'm kind of just taking stock I guess and noticing how much has changed from what's around me right now and everything and what we were like just a year ago <sighs> and feeling blown away by how much we've worked and how much we still work the immense fucking work we do map definitely need another tea i'll see you in the next one you awesome fuckers